Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of tutorials on Python for beginners. I am Deepak. In previous tutorial, we discussed about numbers and string in Python. Although that is not complete description of the numbers and strings, but still we have uh, covered that much part which is required uh, for beginners. And I will surely cover a few other things in coming lectures. Uh, but uh, right now, one thing that I am going to cover is how to take input from users. So till now you have seen that I have taken one variable a another variable b equal to 3 and then I was doing sum equal to a plus b and then I was printing sum right uh, you can take inputs uh, like this but these are hard coded inputs right you are taking variables and then providing some numbers to them but this is hard coded all right hard, we don't need hard coded uh, inputs why we don't need hard coded because user might change their inputs uh, as the program goes on right and that is also a real life thing that we need uh, different input different time uh, for example you have a web portal and uh, you want to show a result of some student so every time uh, a student open that portal he will enter or she will enter his or her roll number and then see his or her result only right so now i am going to teach you how to take input there is one input function you can enter some message here enter a number this is a message and this message will be shown to you and then you can store this input in a number n1 so let us try to run this and now this is asking me for a number i am entering 12 after this n1 stores 12 similarly repeat this thing and store that thing in another number enter now enter maybe 13 now you have number 1 and 2 so let us check number 1 is 12 and number 2 is 13 try to sum these variables n1 and n2 so what should be the answer according to you just check the output if you have if you are saying it's 25 then you have to think it again now see the answer it is 12 and 13 and what is the reason behind that you can check type using type function in python so check the type of n1 it is str that means string and similarly check the type of n2 and it is also string what input function does whenever it takes some input from user it default it takes uh, by default input as in uh, string right so what you have to do when you are in taking input as n1 you can use int function and int function with n2 also and then add these numbers now see the output it is 25 so what we have done if you have uh, read c or c++ before then you might be knowing about type casting and similar thing we are doing here it was a string thing this n1 and we have uh, type casted this to integer another thing that you can do either you can convert this thing in a string or maybe a number at the end when you are doing some calculations or you can just close this thing inside uh, int and then any number that will be entered will be integer automatically similarly do it for n2 enter another number now i am again putting 13 and check n1 and n2 now it is 12 and 13 right you can check the type of n1 and type of n2 so these both are integers right so you have to keep this thing in mind that you can use input uh, but uh, this uh, takes a string as input so always keep in mind to convert this into integer or any other thing that you want to work on okay uh, if you have worked with python 2.7 or python second version then you might be knowing that that version of python used to use this function draw input for the string and input for the integer 
but that has been removed in python 3 and now we just use this input function all right so now you can do i will give you one problem and we want input from user one is name another is age and another is maybe university of that student and then you have to print this message output should be so first you try it on your own and then i will provide a solution so let us start so what you have to do take input and we want to take input name of user so create a variable name then for the age you can first convert into integer but in this case actually we don't want to do some kind some this kind of operation so you can leave it like this and then university right so you have taken input from user now you need this thing as output right so i will copy it here so hello i should do print of this thing and then every string you have to put in single or double quote like this but when we are talking about these variables variable should be left as it is and these should be separated by commas now do this again you are studying in then this one comma again comma after university again then start your quote now start this comma and start this quote so uh, this looks good i think there is no mistake if it is we'll see it in output so now i start it my name is deepak my is maybe 20 my university is iit so hello deepak you are studying in iit in your is 20 so this is how you have to provide inputs and print those right so i think this is enough for this lecture if you have any doubt or query regarding all these things you can always write in the comment i will surely respond back so see you in the next video with a new concept till then thank you so much